You might feel still, as if the ground beneath your feet is perfectly motionless and the world around you is calm and unchanging. When you look up at the night sky, it's easy to imagine that you're standing on a stationary platform, quietly observing the universe as it unfolds above you. But the reality is far more thrilling. You're actually on a wild cosmic ride, hurtling through space at unimaginable speeds, even though you don't feel a thing. Our planet is anything but stationary. Let's start with the basics. Earth spins on its axis at about a thousand miles per hour at the equator. That means right now, you're moving faster than the speed of sound, just by standing still. This rotation is what gives us day and night as different parts of the planet are bathed in sunlight or cast into darkness. And that's just the beginning. While we're spinning, Earth is also racing around the sun at a staggering 67,000 miles per hour. Imagine being on a roller coaster that never stops, looping around the sun once every year, covering nearly 600 million miles in the process. Every single second you travel nearly 19 miles through space, even though you don't sense any motion at all. It's as if you're sitting in a high-speed train with no windows, unaware of the incredible journey you're on. We're all passengers on a celestial speedboat, gliding through the cosmos at breakneck speeds, yet we feel nothing. The air is calm, the ground is steady, and life goes on as if we're anchored in place. How is this possible? Gravity and the vastness of space make this cosmic journey feel effortless. Gravity holds us tightly to Earth's surface, while the sheer scale of space means there's nothing to bump into, no wind rushing past, no sense of acceleration. But our journey doesn't end with Earth's orbit around the Sun. In fact, it's just one leg of a much grander voyage. The Sun, along with all its planets, including Earth, circles the center of the Milky Way galaxy at an astonishing 500,000 miles per hour. Our entire solar system is like a tiny boat, swept along in a vast galactic river. To complete just one lap around the Milky Way's core takes about 230 million years. That means, since the time of the dinosaurs, our solar system has only made a single trip around the galaxy. But even the Milky Way itself isn't standing still. Our galaxy is moving through the universe at over a million miles per hour, carried along by forces we're only beginning to understand. This incredible speed can't be explained by the expansion of the universe alone. There's something more at play, something massive and mysterious that's tugging at our galaxy and everything within it. Something enormous yet invisible is pulling us through the cosmos. We can't see it directly, but we can observe its effects on the motion of galaxies and clusters all around us. Our entire local group of galaxies, including the Milky Way, is being drawn toward a mysterious destination known as the Great Attractor, a region of space so powerful it bends the paths of galaxies for hundreds of millions of light years around. We're not just drifting aimlessly, we're being summoned across the cosmos, pulled by a gravitational force that shapes the very structure of the universe. This realization has changed our perspective forever. We're not isolated observers, we're active participants in a cosmic journey, swept along by forces far greater than ourselves. We're caught in a powerful, invisible current, drawn toward the unknown. The universe is not a static backdrop, but a dynamic, ever-moving ocean of matter and energy. The universe, it seems, has a gravitational plan for us. Galaxies are connected by vast filaments, forming a cosmic web that guides their motion and shapes the fate of everything within it. We're not just on a speedboat, we're in a cosmic current, swept along by the invisible tides of gravity, moving together with billions of stars and galaxies toward a destination we can barely imagine. The question is, what's pulling us, and where are we headed? The universe is vast, mysterious, and full of surprises. Let's find out together, as we continue our journey through the cosmos. For countless generations humanity has gazed up at the night sky, mesmerized by its beauty and mystery. The stars above seemed unchanging, fixed in their patterns, eternal and reliable. To our distant ancestors the heavens were a map, one that appeared to never shift or fade. Our ancestors gathered around campfires pointing out constellations and weaving stories about the figures they saw in the stars. These celestial patterns guided travelers, marked the seasons, and inspired myths that shaped entire cultures. The night sky was both a calendar and a compass, a source of wonder and guidance. But everything began to change with the invention of the telescope. Suddenly, the illusion of a simple, unchanging sky was shattered. Through these new lenses, astronomers saw that the universe was far more complex and dynamic than anyone had imagined. 
Visionaries like Copernicus, Kepler and Galileo challenged the old beliefs. They revealed that Earth was not the center of the cosmos, but just one planet among many, orbiting the Sun. Their discoveries upended centuries of tradition and opened the door to a new understanding of our place in the universe. Even so, for a long time people still believed that the stars themselves were scattered randomly through a static, unchanging universe. The cosmos seemed vast, but its true scale and structure remained a mystery. The real revolution came in the early 20th century, thanks to the groundbreaking work of astronomers like Henrietta Leavitt and Edwin Hubble. Levitt's careful study of variable stars provided a way to measure distances across the cosmos, turning points of light into cosmic mile markers. Using Levitt's discoveries, Hubble was able to prove that the faint fuzzy patches in the night sky, once thought to be nearby clouds of gas, were actually entire galaxies, each containing billions of stars and located millions of light years away from our own. In an instant our understanding of the universe exploded outward. The cosmos was no longer just a collection of stars in our own galaxy, but a vast expanse filled with countless galaxies, each separated by unimaginable distances. Hubble's observations didn't stop there. He also discovered that these galaxies are not standing still, they are moving away from us, and from each other. This meant that the universe itself is expanding, growing larger with every passing moment. The cosmos was revealed as a place of constant motion and change, not a static stage, but a dynamic, ever-evolving expanse. Every galaxy, every star, every planet is part of this grand cosmic dance. Yet as astronomers looked closer, they noticed something even stranger. Not all galaxies were following the same pattern of expansion. Some seemed to move in unexpected ways, hinting at deeper mysteries still waiting to be uncovered in our ever-changing universe. In an expanding universe, galaxies should move away from each other smoothly. But our Milky Way and its neighbors aren't just expanding, they're moving together in a specific direction. This is called a peculiar velocity, a deviation from the expected flow. Something unseen is pulling not just us but thousands of galaxies in our region. Astronomers named this mysterious source the Great Attractor. It's not a single object but a dense region packed with galaxies and dark matter. Its gravity creates a deep well in space-time, drawing everything nearby. The Great Attractor is a powerful reminder of gravity's reach. We're all part of a cosmic web, responding to its gravitational pull. The discovery of the Great Attractor was not a single moment of revelation, but rather a slow, methodical process that unfolded over decades. It was the result of countless nights spent under the stars, with astronomers peering through telescopes recording data and comparing notes. Each observation built upon the last, gradually revealing a cosmic mystery that would challenge our understanding of the universe. In the 1970s and 80s, a new generation of astronomers began to systematically map the velocities of thousands of galaxies. They used the Doppler effect, a phenomenon where the wavelength of light stretches or compresses depending on the motion of its source, to measure how fast galaxies were moving and in which direction. This technique allowed them to peer deeper into the universe than ever before, collecting vast amounts of data that would soon reveal something unexpected. According to the prevailing theory, galaxies should be moving away from each other carried by the expansion of the universe. But as the data poured in, astronomers noticed a strange pattern. Many galaxies were not simply receding, but were exhibiting peculiar velocities, motions that could not be explained by cosmic expansion alone. These galaxies seem to be drawn toward a specific region of the sky, as if pulled by an invisible force. A team of astronomers famously known as the Seven Samurai, undertook a comprehensive survey of hundreds of galaxies. Their meticulous work focused on the Centaurus and Hydra constellations, regions teeming with galaxy clusters. What they found was astonishing, a coordinated flow of galaxies, all moving in the same direction, as if responding to a gravitational summons from deep space. Yet, when they examined the visible matter in that region, it became clear that there simply wasn't enough to account for such a powerful gravitational pull. The galaxies were moving as if something massive was there, but telescopes revealed only sparse clusters and empty stretches of space. This led to a profound realization. Something enormous yet hidden from view was exerting its influence. Its presence was betrayed only by the motion of galaxies, hinting at a vast concentration of mass, possibly dark matter or an unseen supercluster, lurking in the darkness. 
calculations place the source of this mysterious attraction between 150 and 250 million light years away. Its mass was estimated to be equivalent to tens of thousands of Milky Way galaxies combined, a truly staggering amount, making it one of the most massive structures in our cosmic neighborhood. The discovery of the Great Attractor fundamentally changed our view of the universe. No longer could we think of galaxies as isolated islands drifting apart. Instead, we began to see the universe as a vast, interconnected web of filaments and superclusters, with immense structures shaping the motion of galaxies on a grand scale. The Great Attractor emerged as a major node in this cosmic web, a gravitational anchor point around which entire clusters of galaxies revolve, shaping the architecture of the universe itself. Its immense gravity continues to shape the motion of everything within its vast sphere of influence, including our own Milky Way galaxy. Even now, we are being drawn, ever so slowly, toward this mysterious region, our fate intertwined with the hidden forces that govern the cosmos. If the Great Attractor is so massive, why can't we see it? It's hidden behind the dense, dusty plain of our Milky Way, an area called the Zone of Avoidance. This region blocks visible light, making it nearly impossible to observe directly. Astronomers use infrared, X-ray, and radio telescopes to peer through the dust. These surveys reveal a region teeming with galaxies, including the massive Norma Cluster. Yet, the full nature of the Great Attractor remains mysterious. Visualizing the Great Attractor's influence is tough. It's on a scale beyond our experience. Imagine the universe as a river. The Great Attractor is a hidden trench, creating a local current that diverts galaxies. Our Milky Way is like a boat caught in this current, drifting sideways as we flow downstream, or picture space-time as a rubber sheet. The Great Attractor is a heavy bowling ball curving the paths of nearby galaxies. Its pull is gentle but persistent, lasting billions of years. It's not a single object but the combined gravity of thousands of galaxies and dark matter. Mass shapes space-time, and space-time guides mass. We're simply following the cosmic landscape carved by this hidden mountain of matter. The Great Attractor's pull affects more than just the Milky Way. Our local group of galaxies is moving together toward it. But we're just a small part of the Virgo Supercluster, a vast collection of galaxy groups. Even the Virgo Supercluster is being drawn toward the Great Attractor. This led to the discovery of Laniakea, a supercluster spanning over 500 million light-years and containing 100,000 galaxies. The Great Attractor sits at its heart, defining the flow of matter on a colossal scale. We are citizens of Laniakea, journeying toward its gravitational core. Being pulled toward the Great Attractor doesn't mean doom for our galaxy. Instead, it's a slow, graceful merging process. First, the Milky Way and Andromeda will collide in about 4.5 billion years, forming a new galaxy, Milkomeda. Stars will mostly pass by each other, but gravity will reshape both galaxies. Over time, our new galaxy will continue its journey toward the Great Attractor, merging with others. This is cosmic evolution. Small structures combine to form larger ones. It's not destruction, but transformation. The universe builds complexity through gravity's patient work. The Great Attractor's story is ultimately about gravity, the universe's master architect. Gravity sculpts stars, galaxies, and superclusters, weaving the cosmic web. The Great Attractor is a masterpiece of gravity's slow, persistent work. These events unfold over billions of years far beyond human timescales. Our knowledge should inspire awe, not fear. We're privileged to glimpse this epic story. The universe is full of mysteries. Each answer leads to more questions. We are cosmic explorers, piecing together our place in the grand design. So next time you look up, remember, you're on a journey through a universe shaped by gravity's invisible hand.